Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is my overland trailer. I somewhat finishing. I have taken it off road a few times. Broke it the first time. Had a different kind of axle on it. Uh, had torque flex axle. Broke it. Changed that out for leaf springs. Uh, that articulating hitch works fantastic. It's extendable tongue. That of course comes off. That spare tire is just temporary, lol. Something's better than nothing. Angle iron is one eighth inch. Plywood is half inch. Just wanted to save on weight. Underneath of it. I put some shocks on there. I really don't think they do worth a shit, do anything, but you have some pretty crappy ass bumpy roads here in Arizona. A lot of rocks. Oh, I'm getting old. All right. I have some fenders here. Actually, the axles were back here. Way too far back. Put too much weight on the tongue. There's almost 200 pounds on the tongue. Now it's only about 70 pounds. And that is about a, I would say, five to 600 pound trailer right now. And my two-door Rubicon Jeep pulls that thing like it's not even back there. And I've gone up some pretty steep hills before. Door comes back, little work area. Let me set this phone down. Stay right there. built this for my fruit, my little cooler so it's easy to get in and out of but I placed stuff back here in my cooler before and man what a shambles on some of the roads that we I've been on and some of the four-wheel drive trips Woo! what a mess like that this door comes up oh, let me latch it Phone. Show what the inside looks like. That's what the inside looks like. This dude, this takes up a little bit of real estate. You know, I I just tried it because I don't know. I've seen the slide outs on other trailers and stuff. I'm going like, oh, that's cool. I don't know if I really need it. I have some plugs here that are actually wired into my marker lights. Bottle openers. <laughs> I have some aluminum strips right there to hold the fenders and some of the heavier parts, like the tire. You know, it's only half inch plywood. Yeah, I welded the uh, the angle iron all four corners. I could have notched it in, but I thought it'd be just a stronger weld. If I just overlapped them. I use some of these metal inserts here, like this door right here. 
those things are pretty cool. Of course, it's got a metal strap. Really heavy duty. I got these little lights off of Amazon. I'm going to put the plugs on the end. Plug those in there. I can either have them like little spotter lights for the back. I'm going to put these on poles with these magnets I got. So like when if I do end up uh, having to set up at night, I can just plug these in and run them off my marker lights for a little while until I get set up. And one other thing this trailer does, this transformer. table they need a big enough table nothing is I just put on that thing back there yesterday but I did not open it so I actually probably should have set that down a little lower but that is my overland trailer and so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I like that it's light. I was worried about my Jeep pulling it up some nasty-ass hill climbs and stuff. I didn't want to put any more stress on some of the hard parts on my Jeep. But it just tooled right up. I have some videos of that. I'll probably post them on with this. Anyways, I got about $1,000 into this. And a lot of trial and error, and a lot of parts I bought, and I ended up not using. These are rated at a thousand pounds each, and those are rated at two thousand pounds. But when I welded them, I welded these shackle parts on wrong, and instead of cutting it all off. I just went and got those uh, heavier duty ones, the axle, it's probably about 3,500 pounds, and the spindles are 3,500, I actually put uh, locking nuts on there, because they're lug centric, and I actually had them come loose on me, and that could have been a disaster, but we caught it, we were able to <clears throat> tighten them back up, so... I just ended up putting an extra lug nut on there, just locked it in there. But that's it. It's my trailer build. About five or six hundred pound trailer. Last time I weighed it. Uh, I think it's pretty damn sturdy. All the heavy duty parts are where they should be and all the light stuff is where it gets jacked up. If I get a hole knocked into the side of the plywood, I can easily just replace that piece of plywood. But Yeah, that's my video. That's my trailer. Y'all have a good one.